So a few days ago, I saw a video recommended to me. It was a 10-year-old video of a guy playing a Ditronics Tri-Chorus Rack effect. And the sound in it just blew me away. Have a listen to this. <laughs> He was using some compression and some pitching down and some delay too, but that chorus sounded great. So uh, I guess I'll just pick one up. Oh, they're not too common. In fact, it seems that there were only three ever listed on Reverb and they all sold and not for cheap prices either. So unless I can find one and one listed for much less than what they normally go for, I'm not going to be getting one. But let's think outside the rack unit for a second. Would I be able to get close to that sound by using other gear? There's very limited information about the tri-chorus racks, but from what I can find it seems that they were made with electric piano in mind. They were supposed to try and emulate the sound of a beater hitting a string on an acoustic piano, but they were adopted by the LA session musicians of the 80s and used for guitar. Apparently, from what I've read anyway, the early prototypes of the tri-chorus were just two bossy E2s, and then they added a third, and then they started experimenting with wiring, and perfected this circuit into a rack unit. I've also heard that it ended up being quite complicated and different from just a few pedals, and expensive to make. Full Tone make a reissue of it, but it isn't affordable. And the only modern product that I can find with the words Tri-Chorus is a pedal by New Neighbor called the Inspire Tri-Chorus. But I don't have one of those. But what I do have is three chorus pedals. People stack overdrives all the time, so let's stack some choruses, I guess. Truthfully, I'm not very confident in this working. And here's why. Not only was the original tri-chorus a little bit more complex than stringing together three choruses, but just knowing how a chorus works. Okay, so this is an analog mono chorus pedal. And what it does to create a chorus sound is it takes this dry signal into it, and inside the pedal it splits it. It keeps one signal dry, unaffected, and the other one it modulates. Then, on the output, it combines them and you have a modulated and dry signal coming out, and that's what makes a chorus sound more like two guitars. But that's at one pedal. We're not using one, we're using three. So here's my diagram of how I think this is going to end up sounding. After the first pedal, you're going to have a modulated signal. Once it enters the second one, it's going to split it again, and you're going to have the original sound of that chorus combined with another modulation and it's going to end up with a little bit more wobbliness. By the third pedal though, it's going to be splitting off this as its dry signal and then it's going to be modulating that again and uh, that's probably the best visualization of what I think this is going to sound like. Messy. So let's give it a go. I'm playing an Ormsby Futura with a coil tapped neck humbucker into two Victory Krakens. Delay in both effects loops that sounds like this then put through a Marshall 412 and a Zilla 212. The pedals I'm using are an MXR Micro Chorus, and not one, but two Boss CE3s. The chain is the MXR, which is mono, into a CE3, which is set to mono, and then into another CE3, which is set to stereo. So let's hear how all that sounds. <laughs>
really given me the sound I'm after. It's a bit muddled. Not unusable, but not what I'm going for either. But I have one more attempt that maybe makes me think that we don't even need three chorus pedals to get a tri-chorus sound. This is the Boss CE3, a vintage analog chorus which is very much underrated. I've made a full video about this pedal, which you can go watch if that's your thing. But it's got a setting on it that I think might work for us in what we're doing in this video. Let's take a closer look. So just like the other demonstration, inside the MXR pedal we're going to have a dry signal and a modulated signal combined into a mono output and that's going to be our chorus sound. But the CE3 isn't mono, it's stereo. And in fact it's a little bit more than that and that's what we'll be taking advantage of. On the stereo mode, both outputs would be chorused, but on the wet dry mode, it keeps one output dry signal and it affects the other output. So internally, it would look a little bit like this. The MXR has a modulated signal and it goes into the Boss CE3. It splits that signal, keeping one amplifier sounding like the MXR and the other sounding like the MXR and the Boss CE3. And I think this is our best shot at sending clearer than three choruses, but still having that tri-chorus sound. Maybe. I hope. Okay, this is my best attempt. Let's hope it works. So the main objective of this video was to see if I could make chorus pedals sound close to the tri-chorus. And from the example I have of the tri-chorus, uh, I, I failed that. But it wasn't a total loss because I think that I did kind of come up with some interesting sounds. Running the three chorus pedals was a new sound for me. It was a bit muddy, a bit low-endy, but if maybe I put an EQ in there, cut some of those lows, it might sound more usable. At the moment, it's a bit too muddy for me, um, but it did sound better mic'd up on the cabs than while I was playing it. It's still not my favourite, but it does have a place. So I have come away from this experiment with something. But what I'm going to do to close out this video is I'm going to play all of the sound clips and you can pick your favourites. Right now my favourite is the CE3 in stereo, uh, but it's it's gone up against the three chorus pedals on at the same time as well. Let me know what your favourite is. So that's the video. Like it if you liked it, subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye! Mm -hmm.